I'm Akira Takamine. This is my second year in this firm. I like my firm and work. But recently, there is one thing that is bothering me. Hey, Takamine! Hmm? Did you finish the documents I asked? Eh, uh, I've already attached it to the email and sent it to you. Then say so! You're so dense! Phew, I'm sorry. This senpai, he's the son of the managing director, and he always dumps all the troublesome work on me. He's those typical spoiled children. Hey, Takamine, you go to the volunteer work organized by the president every weekend, so you must be exhausted. Contributing to the local society is out of date. You're the one who forces me to go every time. There has to be at least one person from each department, so you can go instead of me. It was on the tip of my tongue, but I didn't want to rock the boat. As long as I can stand it, I'll keep my head low. I'm preparing for a counterattack. Takamine-san, you have a guest. Oh yes, um... Nice to meet you. Wow, she's so pretty. She looks good in kimono. I'm your fiancé, Aoi Sayonji. Hmm? I'm sorry, but I might hear you wrong. Did you just say, my fiancé? Yes, I'm your fiancé, Aoi Sayonji. What's happening? Did I hit my head a few seconds ago? I'm sorry to visit you so suddenly. Um, I thought it was lunchtime, so I brought you a lunchbox. Eh. I do not want to bother you during your work, so I will leave now. I will come to retrieve the lunchbox when you end your work today. Fiancé? Fiancé? Anyway, I ate the lunch you brought and tried to calm down. The lunch she made was very sensitive and delicious. What did she mean by fiancé? Hello. Oh, you changed your clothes. Yes, I did. I wore the kimono since it was the first time to meet you. I thought that the beginning is crucial. It surely had a big impact. She's more mischievous than I thought. Um, thank you for the lunchbox. It was very tasty. I'm glad you liked it. By the way, it's the fiancé thing. It is some misunderstanding here, I believe. No, there isn't. I'm your fiancé with no doubt. But I've never heard of it before. Is that so? So, would you mind calling your parents now? Okay. Sorry, I forgot. I promised that girl's father when we were in junior high to have our kids get married. But that was a verbal promise when we were kids. You can tell her that she doesn't have to dutifully keep that promise. The same goes for you, says my father. Yes, my father said the same thing. Then... But don't you think that such fate is splendid? Only you and I can decide. Would you be my fiancé for a while, as a trial? In short, she's a rental fiancé? How can someone reject a cute girl's direct request? Well, if you say so... Thank you very much. This is how I had Aoi as my rental fiancé. Eh? Your father is the president of the company? Sorry, I should have chosen a better restaurant for you. Not all presidents are rich. Our company is always a shoestring operation. I am more used to these kinds of restaurants. I'm relieved to hear it. My family name is a rather big name. We are not rich, and I do fall in love at first sight. Love at first sight. I wonder whom she fell in love with. Those words bothered me a little. Though, I'm a bit surprised. You checked where I work, so I thought you've checked other things as well. Oh no! A normal girl does not have such a research capacity. I asked my father to ask your father about where you work. I wonder how our family's compliance system is working. The president told me that you join the volunteer work every week, so I went to one of them. She is brisk! I saw you when I went to the volunteer work. I was impressed that you were working hard to clean the gutter. But the president doesn't know me at all. Yes, he does. Although people were not motivated, Takamine-kun always contribute to the volunteering. That is what he said. The president did say so? He was watching me. Yes, he was. You shared your SNS contact number with the president as a volunteer member. Yes, I did. I thought I should send something. So I once sent him a short greeting. 
He also said that you were the only one who did. Is that so? Yes. When I heard it, it made me more agitated to see you. But how did you enter our company today? After I heard that story, I made an appointment to introduce my father's company. And I visited your department. I see. Does she also have talent as a salesperson? See you. Aoi was more frank and active than I thought. Some aspects surprised me, but they were all awesome. After that, I started to meet her after work. At first, we met when I had time. But gradually, I began to adjust my schedule to meet her. It only took a week. Sometimes, she preferred action movies over romantic movies. Sometimes, she preferred eating taiyaki or dangos while walking over fancy suites. The more I get to know Aoi, the more I found the unexpected side to her. I got attracted to her every day. I'm leaving. Apparently, you go home quickly these days. I emailed the job you requested, and I also informed you orally. You don't have to tell me. Well, if you have such a beautiful fiancé, you can't help it. But she's too good for you. Hmm. Enjoy the time you have with her. Hmm. Oi! Did you get harassed or experience anything strange recently? Huh? What is this all of a sudden? If not, then it's fine. Excuse me? Father, what's the matter? Huh? I see. Aoi. My father said that all orders from your company have been cancelled. What? Now? There were big leads and we were staking the fate of our company on them. Or else, everything will go down the drain. Could that cutting remarks be? What should we do, Akira? The managing director said that if I accept the marriage proposal with his son, he would think about the deal again. What? That's blackmailing! But if we don't accept their offer, my family and our employees will... I'm sorry, Aoi. Can you go home? Huh? I will work this out. But how? Akira? I found a taxi and let Aoi go home. I'm not going to forgive you, senpai. Aoi is my fiancé! The next day, the police came to our firm in big numbers. They confiscated the PC and documents from Senpai's desk. Hey you! What did you do? Having loyalty to the firm, I passed the evidence of corruption and power harassment in the company to the president. What? You should be careful. Your guard is low by sticking the note with the password under your desk, Senpai. You bastard! After I sent Aoi home, I went back to the company where everyone has left and checked Senpai's PC. Power harassment is not enough. I wanted to find evidence that Senpai and his father exert unjustifiable pressure on Aoi's company. There was so much evidence one after another. Good. I submitted the information to our president. The president informed the police. And this is the outcome. You'll be sorry for this! A stupid guy like you will... You're the one who is stupid! President! I saw the evidence of illicit contribution, information leakage, and the jewel bookkeeping of ripoffs. You behave promiscuously with the managing director. My dad did it! The same goes for volunteer work. It wasn't mandatory, but you forced him to participate in it. He worked earnestly every time, so he was easy to be spotted. It was him who said he'll go! Shut your mouth! Like father, like son. As of today, the managing director and you are subjected to disciplinary dismissal. Say your excuses to the police. So, I'm sorry that it took time to notice it. About the deal with Sayonji's firm, we will never cancel and do such an ungrateful action. So please be assured. Thank you very much, President. I'm the one who wants to thank you. Thank you. Our firm scandal broke and created a headline. On the contrary, my surroundings got peaceful. It's not mandatory. After the president said so, the number of volunteers declined. I think it's fine. Volunteering should not be mandatory. You don't have to push yourself to participate in it. Please let me join you. Whenever I'm with you, I am happy. Aoi! Moreover, this incident made me fall in love with you again 30 times. Haha. <laughs> then I can never beat the guy you fell in love with the first sight. It was you, Akira. 
I fell in love with you at first sight. Huh? Actually, it was a long time ago. When I heard that I have a fiancé for my father, when I was in elementary school, I wanted to know what he looked like. I asked my father to send the videotape of your sports day event from your family. I remember that dad was recording my growth record on video. I had it sent to me every year, so I've known you for a long time. I didn't have to do any research. That is a little scary, or rather clingy. Or you can say, I'm loved by you. Yeah. You were cute when you were little. I see. So now I am. You're cool. Hmm? Um, Aoi, I would like to officially ask you. Would you be my fiancé? Yes. Of course. Hmm? We started to prepare for our marriage. It's not because our parents made the promise. We decided on our own. Well, Aoi got me dancing in the palm of her hand in the first place. Maybe we can get along if we stay like this, I think. <laughs>